we got quite a setup in here. It seems like this part of the thing seems like it's all part of the show. It's like we're doing a sketch comedy show about seeing a comedy. And then out there, everybody's just got candles. All right. I don't know what that was for, but they might have lost somebody. They're like, no, that's me whistling. Yeah. I can't whistle, I'd like to do it, but I never could. I can't get my bottom lip to curl up like that. So I got a bigger lip there and it won't curl up. <laughs> I've never been able to whistle. <laughs> so I'm pretty upset about it when other people whistle. <laughs> Feels like you're showing off of it, you know what I mean? I checked into a hotel the other day and they had a little window unit in there and it was like, uh, who thought my hair was attached to this hat? <laughs> a lot of people think that. I try to keep it a secret, but I had a lot going on up here. I had a lot of meat earlier, I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> it was delicious, but I ate it too fast. I'm sweating a little bit, I think. Meat sweats. <laughs> they used to happen to me a lot when I would do casinos. You know, I'd do two shows and the buffet would be closed by the time I got done with the second show. So I had like 30 minutes to eat a lot of meat. <laughs> It'd be rough. <laughs> Sometimes the coffee shop stuff goes real well. And other times I, I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about. But <laughs> Thank you, there he goes. <laughs> Just a little bit of confidence from the whistling person. <laughs> Old whistler. <laughs> you never know what a whistle means, really. When my mom used to whistle, it meant get home right now. Like she wasn't like whistling at work, you know, she was like, get home. She would do that kind of whistle. <coughs> well, let's think about not whistling the rest of the show. Right? <laughs> I mean, we are all impressed. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking when I came here, I was like, I wonder if anybody in Springfield can whistle. <laughs> I have not heard a lot of whistling while I'm walking around. I was beginning to doubt there was even a whistler in the whole city. But after this show, I do know that there is at least one person in town that can whistle, and I'm glad that it happened. <laughs> I'm glad to know about it. I think we all can rest a little easier knowing that this is not a whistle in this town. People come to visit, they're like, can people whistle here? You're like, oh yeah, there is. Go to the Blue Room, late show Saturday, there will be a whistle. They'll have different decibels and different, uh, uh, well, I can't think of the word, but, uh, tones. what is it? Tones. tones. Tones is good, too. Not the one I'm looking for, but tones is good. <laughs> it's okay. We're having a good time. Right? You know when you say a word and it has like a lot of different beats to it? What do you call that? Pitches. What is it? Pitches. Pitches. That would be a good one, too. Still not it. <laughs> You know, like we say, like, dinosaur. There's three of them. Syllables. Syllables, yeah. It's too far gone now, but I am glad. I am glad that I got that figured out. A lot, of, a lot of times, if you eat a lot of meat, it'll affect your brain. A lot of energy is going from my brain to digest that meat. And then I had a lot of bread, butter with it. We're having a good time, though. 